During the world wars, many Australian country towns lost all their young men. They took decades to recover. They built monuments. In the 1980s, the gay community was at war too. We lost many of our young men, but didn't realise the emotional toll it would take. The closest thing we had to a monument might have been the AIDS quilt, and the only time we grieved in public was at the candlelight vigils on World AIDS Day. In about 1993, the quilt project in Sydney was in financial difficulty. I was president of the Bobby Goldsmith Foundation at the time, and we pulled all favours we could so that the annual unfolding would happen at Darling Harbour. They asked me if I would open the event. I was warned it would be emotional, but the reality affected me far more than I thought it would. There wasn't just one, but several enormous quilts, some of them as big as football fields. They just kept on unfolding, unfolding and unfolding, stretching for what seemed like miles. Each small panel representing a person, each person loved and missed by family, friends and community. I myself lost half of my close friends. It wasn't unusual for me to speak at three funerals a week. In fact, I became so used to death that I now organise all my family's funerals, from putting the notice in the paper to the eulogy and the food. I am the family undertaker. I got through this period by working to help maintain the living standards of those affected. To sit by idly would have been too much to bear. I take great pride in my efforts.